Just days ago, God's servant Dr. Cirillo returned from anointed historic meetings in India and Sri Lanka. You pray like you have never prayed until you turn your defeat into a victory. Many of you may not know, but Dr. Cirillo's first trip to India was in 1970 as a 39-year-old. Dr. Cirillo then blazed the trails of the gospel, the length and breadth of the nation, including Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Delhi, and West Bengal states. Now, God called him to once again gather the body of Christ from across the nation for a three-day conference of the Holy Spirit in the newest state in India. Created through a reorganization in 2014, the state of Telangana, all services were translated from the platform into Telugu. Everybody say Amos 3.7. The prospect of Dr. Cirillo coming also fulfilled the prayer of Jesus in John 17.21 by provoking leading bishops such as Bishop Ernest Kamanapali and Reverend Mohan Babu to lead the pastoral leadership to participate in the school even though the grounds of a leading megachurch were used. Lord, I want, to, I want to serve you, Lord God. I want to reach out the people, Lord God. The King's Temple housed the dynamic move of God that brought those present into a new dimension of conscious contact with the Most High. Pastor Samuel Pada, a mighty preacher of faith in his own right. What did David say? I'm coming to you in the name of the Almighty God. I'm going to cut you off at your head. Along with Pastor Merlin Pada, his wife, and Pastor Steve and Deborah Pada graciously hosted the body, with over 17 states represented. Pastor Steve commented that he had never sensed a servant of God who carried such a heavy presence of God. The opening night, Dr. Cirillo took the delegates back into the basics of faith. As Jesus said to Nicodemus, in essence, you must be born again to see me as I am. You will know that I am. All present were wrapped as the revelation took them past senses of man and to come up higher. Especially, the word was God took on new meaning as Dr. Cirillo proclaimed the God who carved the mountains and spit out the seas. Joined by his able translator, Anil, Dr. Cirillo sat motionless, waving his hands as the glory fell, tears flowed, and fallow ground was plowed by the Holy Spirit. On Saturday, Dr. Gary Whetstone imparted from the power of the cross and also the concrete steps taken by Elisha to kill his past. The revelation removed stumbling blocks from out of the way of the people in their calling. That you know. 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 Who you are. Reverend Samuel Pada ministered a true masterpiece on faith. If you can see it, you can have it. That was not simply a blank check, but helped God's people shore up their weak points and stay focused on using their faith to pursue God's best and God's perfect will. We become the establishing witness. So what do I need to do? I need to begin to see like God sees. Dr. Cirillo has not only given much of his life to reaching Jewish people and blessing Israel, but also to helping the nations love and identify with Israel. Later, Dr. Cirillo commissioned Don Mandel to teach a prophetic session on Israel, the Jewish people, and how the Gentiles and the nations are part of a great biblical love story. And so God brought him out and brought him, started to bring him into the land of Israel. Don also emphasized Dr. Cirillo's passionate love for Arab souls and singular track record of ministering in nearly every Arab and Muslim nation. Iraq. You have Babel, Babylon, 
Ashur and Ur of the Chaldees. Reverend Mohan Babu testified from the platform how God had touched his father, a police officer, and through Dr. Cirillo's visits to India, absorbed the message and reality of divine healing, resulting in the founding of a vast ministry and also leadership among pastors and alliances. I want to serve you with all boldness, my God. I want to get back to my sons, my God. Pastor Ashish Thomas shared his moving testimony of partnership with Papa, dating back to 1995, and God using him to assist with historic conferences in Amman, Dubai, Jebel Ali, Bangalore, New Delhi, and now Hyderabad. Pastor Ashish has a tremendous burden on his heart to help facilitate Dr. Cirillo's ministry to his native India. The three daughters of Pastor Ashish and Rika Thomas sang literally like angels as the conference closed. From so India, Dr. Cirillo proceeded to Sri Lanka and once again defied all advice and State Department warnings to follow his heart. What an awesome presence of God is in this place tonight. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. 1 John 4, 18. Back in 1973, Dr. Cirillo's Crusades prepared a foundation for the believers in Sri Lanka. Through the Elijah Institute and Bishop David Saratni's tireless training and mobilization inspired thousands into the work of God, including raising up pastors that led to a time of dire challenge in 2009 when the Tamil Tigers and the government were engaged in a brutal civil war that started back in 1983. Well, when Dr. Cirillo arrived to conduct a school of ministry in Colombo and boldly declared, the war is about to end at this time, just two days later, the rebels committed some serious tactical errors and were surrounded by the government and subdued. The war was over. Now once again, Dr. Cirillo ignored the pleas of his security director and officials to come at another time because of the April bombings by extremist Muslims that had targeted Christians and Christian gatherings that left 359 people dead. Dr. Cirillo said, as Paul did in Acts 21, 13, What mean ye to weep and break my heart? For I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die for the name of the Lord Jesus. Dr. Cirillo stayed the course and released the power of fearlessness through the rhema word of 2 Chronicles 2021. Praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. As Dr. Cirillo took the body in Sri Lanka off the defensive to once again being on the offensive to win souls and bring holiness and godliness as well as healing and deliverance. Testimonies are still being received of the glory and breakthrough from Dr. Cirillo's prophetic visit. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all of his benefits. On the trip, thousands signed up to be part of the Legacy Center and study courses and dozens prepared themselves to host additional meetings by associates. Now thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Continue to pray for Dr. Cirillo as he continues to go out and preach to the nations of the world.